Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts and return unto God and to our God. For he will have mercy upon him and will abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55 verse 6 and 7. Okay, and then again we hear in Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27. It's appointed unto men once to die, but after death the judgment. When you die, if you die in Christ, then you'll take part in the first resurrection. And if you don't, then you'll take part in the second resurrection, which will be unto hell and damnation. I'm reading for a book called Daniel and the Revelation, page 221. And I quote, When the cases of all the dead have been examined, and when the cases of the living have been reached, no man, no man can know. But since the year 1844, this solemn work has been, begot, has been going, going forward. Light from the types and the, very, and the very nature of the work forbid that it should be of long continuance. In his sublime views of heavenly scenes, John saw millions of, of attendants and assistants engaged with our Lord in his priestly work. Revelation chapter 5. Thus the ministration goes forward. It ceases not, it delays not, and it must soon be forever finished. Here we stand then with the last, the greatest, and the most solemn crisis in the history of our race immediately impending. The plan of salvation is about finished. The plan of salvation is about finished. The last precious years of probation are almost ended. The Lord is about to come to save those who are ready and waiting and to cut asunder the careless and unbelieving. The world, alas, what shall we say of it? Deceived with error, crazed with cares and business, delirious with pleasure, and paralyzed with vice, the inhabitants have not a moment to spare for listening to solemn truth, nor a thought to bestow upon their eternal interests. Let the people of God, let the people of God with their eternity in view, be careful to escape the corrup corruption that is in the world through lust and prepare to pass a searching test when their cases shall come up for exam examination at the great tribunal above. I'll read it again. Let the people of God, those of you who claim to be Christians, with eternity in view, be careful to examine, to be careful to escape the corruption that is in the world through lust and, and prepare to pass a searching test when their cases shall come up for examination at the great tribunal above. Let them be diligent in warning sinners of the wrath to come, in warning sinners of the wrath to come, and in pointing to them a loving Savior who intercedes in their behalf. To the careful attention of every student of, of prophecy, we commend the subject of the sanctuary and its services. In the sanctuary is seen the Ark of God's Testament containing His Holy Law. This suggests a reform in our obedience to that great standard of morality. The opening of this heavenly temple or the beginning of the service in the second apartment marks the commencement of the sounding of the seventh angel. Revelation chapter 11, verse 15 and 19. The work performed therein is the foundation of the third angel's message of Revelation 14. Remember what the third angel said? It warns that if any man receive the mark of the beast or of his image in their forehead or in their hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God that is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and shall be tormented forever in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. And they have no rest, night nor day. All right? Hmm. The last message of mercy to a perishing world. This subject of the sanctuary renders harmonious and clear past prophetic fulfillments which are otherwise involved in impenetrable obscurity. 
It gives a definite idea of the position and work of our great high priest, that's Jesus Christ, and brings out the plan of salvation in its distinctive and beautiful future features. It reigns us up, as no other subject does, to the realities of the judgment and shows the preparation we need to, to be able to stand in the coming day. It shows us that we are in the waiting time and puts us upon our watch, for we do not know how soon the work will be finished and our Lord appear. Watch, lest coming, suddenly he find you sleeping, my friend. After stating the great events connected with our Lord's mission here upon the earth, the prophet in the last part of Daniel 9 verse 27 speaks of the soon following destruction of Jerusalem by the Roman power and finally of the destruction of that power itself called in the margin the desolator. Friend, the solemn is the, 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 the warning is solemn. The warning is solemn. Jesus is soon to come. How shall you stand, friend? How shall you stand? Huh? Every man's destiny is to be, de be to be determined by the deeds above, by the deeds done in the body, and each one is to be rewarded according to his works. Second Corinthians five verse ten, Revelation twenty two twelve. In the books of record kept by the heavenly scribes above, every man's deeds will be found recorded. Revelation twenty verse twelve. In the closing sanctuary work, these records are examined. And decisions are rendered in accordance with the findings. Daniel 7, 9 and 10. It would be natural to suppose that the work would begin with the first members of the human race. Their, their cases would be examined and, de and decision rendered. And so on with all the dead, generation by generation, in chrono chronological succession. Until we reach the last generation, the generation of the living, with, tho with whose cases the work would close. Friend, we are in the final phase of earth's history. Jesus soon will come. Revelation, not revelation. Matthew 24 and verse 30, verse 30 says, Then shall the sign of the Son of a man appear in heaven with power and great glory. Huh? And Revelation chapter 1 verse 7 says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. How shall you stand in that great day? Be ready to meet Jesus, my friend. Be ready, be ready, be ready.